one more slide. My apologies. Uh, the uh, we're going to set up a data center with a with three subnets in a VNet, uh, one for web, one for a database, one for apps, and uh, basically the, the web server and the application server. We could have a group here if we have time today. Uh, are going to query the database server. And I think you can sort of guess what game we're going to play. In the next session, we are going to add to this uh, a firewall to protect the north-south traffic and the east-west traffic. So that's sort of our, our goal at this point. So if you uh, look, I've actually created a uh, script um, called uh, uh, Mate uh, Pod. And you can actually see what this script is going to do. We're going to set up a uh, resource group. Uh, and then we're going to run a template to set up the, all the networking in one template. Then we're going to um, create the uh, uh, basically the network security groups, create the public IPs, glue them all together on a NIC. So the NIC is going to have a public IP a private IP, and a security group. Then uh, we're going to load some images of a database server that I created, uh, a, a web server, data, uh, application server, and database server. So now we, we could show this with a template. Uh, I'll show you how we could also create VMs with a template. And then we're going to print out the public IPs so that we can access these devices. Okay, so let's uh, kick this off. It takes uh, about nine minutes to run this thing. Uh, so uh, if I just, uh, uh, oh, I don't like the coloring there. If I just uh, run uh, this make pod script, and I'm going to give it uh, something like uh, pod for demo, or uh, for demo, okay. And that's going to be the name of the resource group. And let's just sort of kick it off. Now, uh, this could, like I said, take nine minutes. While we're looking at uh, while we're looking at this, let's do uh, do a little bit more here. Um, I'm going to also have this uh, JSON. This is uh, I'll show you the uh, uh, to set up the network, and then I created JSONs for each of the security groups. And so the, I, I, these are templates, four templates that my script is going to refer to. Now let's look at a, a one of these to, so you get a feel for what these uh, what these templates look like. And uh, here it is. Here's the JSON. Uh, you know, to make this look a little prettier, let's go to a JSON editor. And you can actually see we're uh, we're going to enter the prefix, the name of the the name prefix, and that's our parameter. And then uh, we're going to we could enter the sitter, but it, we don't have to because it has a default value. And then the subnets for each of our web application and database. So those are our parameters. Those are our inputs. We then create variables out of those by concatenating our parameter with, uh, I'm sorry, concatenating our name prefix with something uh, to generate the names for those uh, uh, VNets and subnets. And then here we actually create the sub uh, the VNet. Here we actually create the subnet, as you can see, uh, and, and that's with the name, with the uh, parameter of the IP addresses, and so forth. So fairly straightforward. Now, I know what you're you're thinking. Wait, wait. And this is a a, a a a template is something I run in the Azure, uh, and and you're right. And so I'll show you that that same template is available in Azure. Um, I, well, at least to me, to, to us, this is our uh, our account here, and so this is sort of what it looks like if you run it in Azure instead of uh, you know with some script. Um, basically, you choose a resource group. Uh, I, maybe I want to create a, uh, uh, this is a, a pod temp something. I, I, I uh, whoops, spelled it wrong. Let's just call it. Uh, uh, resource group. Uh, so we can create a resource group or put it in an existing group. This is given to you for free. 
Notice here are all of our possible regions. Um, and we'll just do Central U.S. We have to give it a uh, uh, a uh, some kind of a pre prefix. And now we could uh, actually change these. So, for example, I could do uh, 102. Uh, I could change this to a 2. Or we could just leave the default. Uh, but maybe I want to uh, make this a little bit different so that we could set up peering between these VNets without uh, running into uh, conflicts. And there we go. Uh, we agree. I think you got a typo here. Um, what? Cider. Looks like you got an additional number. Oh. 1012. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Because I don't really have good checking built into this. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and let's purchase it. And now we'll actually see that it will uh, create uh, that resource group. And a matter of fact, let's see how our uh, script is doing. Um, it, it, it's running for a while. I'll probably, uh, uh, for for time purposes, probably get uh, back to it. But I just wanted to sort of show you, we created the resource group pod for demo, and it's already getting populated. Now, here's another way you can sort of see what a template is. Remember that I created the uh, – uh, I find it convenient to do that. I created the virtual machine. Oh, there are no virtual machines there yet. I created the virtual machine with the CLI. But if I want to say find a virtual machine, uh, let's look at, for example, my jump box. Uh, well, actually, I, let's, go to the, uh, let's go to another resource group. If I, if I uh, go to something like what I was doing on Tuesday, if I uh, go to uh, the virtual machines and I say, well, what is my web server? How can I deploy that with an ARM template instead of the CLI? All I have to do is I can click it. I could click a bunch of resources and say, I want a template for that. Now, this is not going to have maybe all the variables and fancy stuff we want. But as you can see, here's our template. We're, we're adding the, uh, giving it a, uh, yeah, adding a disk and so forth, choosing a size for the uh, for it, and here we go. And we could take this, export it, and now we could uh, modify it to build our own templates to build similar virtual machines. Okay, I think uh, with that, uh, I don't. I, I, I'd like to sort of get back. Yeah, it's going to take a while, but it'll be done by the time we're done with our uh, with the lecture today. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's get back to uh, the uh, presentation um, and move forward.